Yeah. All right, informal survey. We've yet to find someone disappointed about the rain this morning. We've been needing rain here in Southeast Texas, and it's been unusual to see it early in the day, like what we're having right now. But the Fox Red Storm Seeker radar very active, particularly across Galveston Bay, and then down in Brazoria County, Lake Jackson, Danbury. Get ready, Alvin. It's coming up 288, headed your way, and eventually maybe we'll even get some more. And Pearland has already seen a wave or two this morning. Now the earlier rain that we had in the downtown area that's moved off and it now looks like most of what we're seeing is on the eastern side of downtown and the eastern half of uh, Harris County out towards Baytown and even a little further over to the east. This is Gulf moisture or tropical moisture that's coming in. This is not because of the front that we're going to be expecting. That front is still on tap to be here on Thursday. That's the good news. Our allergen report the elm tree pollen has kicked up over the weekend. Our ragweed is still though really what's given us most of the issues that are out there. And of course, anytime we can get some rain that helps kind of wash some of this out of the atmosphere for sure. So the future cast really spreads these ice, these scattered showers everywhere in the viewing area later on in the afternoon. We'll look for a similar pattern tomorrow where there's rain in the morning. We'll have a few more storms in the afternoon. The front changes our big picture of things on Thursday. And when we get rid of the rain on Friday, look at what we've got left for the weekend. Those are temperatures in the 60s. Some of us even going to see upper 50s on Sunday and Monday morning.